Huawei founder and CEO Ren Zhengfei prefers to keep the focus on products, but we waded into politics at Huawei headquarters in Shenzhen days before U.S. President Donald Trump signed the Hong Kong Human Rights and Democracy Act into law, complicating the trade war and the future of Huawei. Over the weekend, there was an overwhelming victory for pro-democracy parties in Hong Kong. How do you view that? They shouldn't focus on a political terminology, debating whether or not there is democracy. How Hong Kong can prosper is the most important issue that its current and future leaders should consider. If all people can become rich and prosperous, isn't that what we wish for? Do you feel some sympathy for Hong Kong protesters, for, for what they're fighting for? No, I don't, because I strongly oppose violence. I wouldn't say whether I have sympathy towards them or not. I simply have not looked into what they are demanding. If we're talking about peaceful actions, those are permitted within the framework of one country, two systems. It doesn't matter how I feel about it, but I think extreme actions like vandalism are unacceptable. Now, U.S. lawmakers are fighting for Hong Kong. They're getting directly involved in the situation that must be complicating the trade war, the tech war, and also the future of Huawei in the United States. What's your thinking about that? I have noticed recent comments by Marco Rubio. China's foreign ministry has protested against the U.S. interference in Hong Kong's internal affairs. Rubio said that the U.S. legislation's interference in Hong Kong is an internal affair for the U.S. I think this is a big joke. How can Rubio be a senator? But if President Trump signs the Hong Kong Human Rights and Democracy Act into law, Surely that will affect the trade war, and that will affect mm -hmm. Huawei's future, right? Okay. No, it won't, because we would give up the U.S. market entirely. How would it affect us? We don't have plans to go to the U.S. and serve the American people, because the American people don't need us, right? Then we won't serve them. So is Huawei given up on the U.S. market entirely? Well, as of now, we can't say that we have completely given up on the U.S. market. We must still fight for our rights, which have been promised by the U.S. Constitution. However, the American people reject our services. For example, AT&T or Verizon, they don't purchase our products. Then we have no choice but not to serve the American people. Even though our intentions are amiable, the U.S. is a society of freedom. It should uphold the spirit of openness and embrace all kinds of powers in the world. However, now that the U.S. is betraying such principles, will it still be the leader of the world in the future?